everyone uh, in this video we're gonna see some authentication settings at uh, the web server level uh, access point so I'm gonna cover those uh, in some detail so there are different options one is called authentication uh, in always so if I have uh, this option checked and I'm just gonna click on apply here and now I'm gonna refresh just have a look at this menu here and I'm gonna just refresh it and as soon as I refresh it the option for the sign out has gone away okay so the reason for that is that I have always so if there is no login option it's gonna automatically log in okay uh, and if I have the login option checked so it's gonna ask me you know uh, so in case of always it's gonna use your browsers uh, authentication but uh, in case you know uh, I'm using the login it's gonna pop up a login uh, page for me and uh, normally we use this uh, particular setting with login setting with an alternate uh, page so if I have that then it's gonna make sense as when I sign out it asks me to you know uh, sign in with the user that I want otherwise this setting is not uh, relevant so this setting has to be used uh, with this one and if I say never so it basically means that only always uh, I'm just gonna go back to access point so it's always gonna be anonymous no user can be you know will be able to log in okay so it's not it's only anonymous access can be achieved okay so and this has to then work with the anonymous um, settings uh, for click now I'm gonna go for login and then after that we have different types of we are using uh, directory settings or we are going to use the header settings so if I have header in here so it asks me you know what is my header parameter again this has to be used within custom page it's not gonna use the web form I have to write a custom login page uh, in order to use the header authentication uh, and then also it work with the custom directory uh, so there are three different angles like you know had for having a authentic uh, header authentic uh, type or a custom user we need to have a custom directory and then we also going to use a custom page to write that down otherwise you know if I apply that now and I go to my access point here and I say sign in it's going to bring me to this page but I any user I'm going to put in it's not going to work uh, and if I say I just keep that to default Uh, I'm gonna put the default and now if I it's uh, I'm again gonna go to access point here and if I put in sign in so you know it's 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 gonna look, say the login failure okay so now uh, this is basically you know different settings has to uh, work with uh, combination of each other okay so that's it for today's video Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.